the Resident Evil 4 remake features more than 20 unique weapons, from pistols to rifles and even an infinite rocket launcher. But what if we don't want to use any of this, and instead decide to go knife only? Is it possible? Well today we're going to find out. We have Leon's default combat knife, which when fully upgraded has an insane attack speed, Krauser's fighting knife, which deals the most damage and will be our main knife for this run, and the primal knife, which sucks ass. I guess it has infinite durability. We'll really only use this one as a last resort. This is Resident Evil 4, knife only. Chapter 1 starts off like any other playthrough. Leon dons his RPD uniform so we can legally enter this man's house and kill him. We make our way to the village center and have to kill 15 enemies to trigger the cutscene. Kill 15 boys. Chickens. Damn! He might be an issue. boy. Alright, not bad. And after that, the rest of the level plays out like normal. And we have to rescue the sack man. Speed running trick to get around the ladder. All right, chapter one done. Shit, they took my gear. Chapter two is the shortest chapter in the game, and the only nice. real obstacle is Dynamite Village. My comms. We start the chapter finding that the local hoodlums have stolen all of our knives, so we take one of theirs and go stabbing. Hey, don't worry, boys. We got another knife. With our equipment back in our possession, we can make our way to Boomtown. We'll be visiting the merchant a lot to upgrade. You want to use the fighting knife as much as you can. See? We've taken way more stabs on the primal knife. Infinite or not. You not? Freaking Dynamite Valley. Okay. Did I learn you can stab their dynamite? I 
everyone is not being very chill right now. With the gate now open, we can sneak past Chainsaw Man. Doctor. Grab the marble puzzle piece and end the chapter. Ba bam Two down. Leon, no. Knife only. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Chapter 3 begins, and the only thing anyone should ever do first is save the dog. We ain't speedrunning, so we're saving the dog. Yeah. Take care of yourself, buddy. We run back to the village square, get grabbed by this freaking guy. Okay. And then stab this dude minding his own business. I'm actually not even sure he was even infected before actual speedruns. Excuse me, pardon me. Now with that out of the way, we can cruise through the fishing town. Shit. God damn it. This is what I'm talking about. Get out of the way. The big guy's coming. I hit Barry, but fine. Really? Now, obviously, we can't just stab the logo with one of our three knives. But are harpoons just like really long knives? Eh? There we go. Dude, some of these attempts, man. I've done them flawless twice, and I've done one miss like four or five times. Chapter 4 introduces the first Plagas variants, yeah, as well as our first full on boss, boss fight. This should get slightly harder. Only slightly. Alright. Twisty son of a bitch. Another streamer described this chapter as just a goblin mode loot fest, and uh, it's pretty accurate. Like, you go find the golden egg, the long bass, go backtracking all to all the places you want if you want the treasures. So yeah, it is. I wasn't expecting to one-shot the mutated parasites. I don't know what that was about. I don't know if that one's just weaker, or because I reloaded something happened. But, you know, we take those. Once we've collected the puzzle pieces for the church key, it's time for the El Gigante fight. 
Alright, now the first real skill check of the run. The El Gigante fight. There ain't no way to cheat. Oh, I should probably repair my knife. As I was saying. The first actual skill check of the... Of the night. The key to this boss is to try to stay behind its legs. It won't charge and its move is super easy to avoid. Dog, help me! <laughs> Wasn't that bad at all. I mean, if we're using the primal knife, that would have taken three times as many stabs, so. Just think about that before you attempt this run. With the boss fight over, you go to the church, solve the stained glass puzzle, and save Ashley. Honestly, not, not that bad. It's gonna get harder, but so far, not a big deal. Let's go rescue Ashley, who's completely normal and not modded. Hey, there we go. Well, I'm so glad you asked, Bowsette. This chapter basically boils down to running back to the village and holding out in the cabin. Now, since we aren't using the suit of armor, I do have to babysit her more than usual, since I can't shoot any guns to keep her safe. No, keep running. Actually, run! Keep going, keep going, keep going. Alright, we're good. Like, I like armored Ashley and all, but... Man, when you don't have her. I need her up here. Alright. <laughs> she is, in fact, Bowsette. Leon's also modded, too, but it's less impressive. It's like mini practice. Next week we're doing an all uh, modded run where every single character and asset is changed. Quick, over here. The cabin section is all about enemy management. If you let too many of them in at once, you will get overwhelmed. All right, this part might be a pain. Okay, it's game time. Two of us. Oh, and let's not forget, this mob is made up of monsters. Come on in, boys. Done warming up. Hope you stretched. Yeah. Now, if you shut up, you'd be good to go. Right now. Give me your fucking savvy. Get out of here. Get out of here, use. Stab her once for good measure. Out of the way, Luis. We're letting them in. Okay, one more board. Let's go. Oh. 
Let me, I can't shoot, but can you shoot that barrel? Like, right there? Oh, almost. You can do it, Luis. Or not. Alright, when you need to drop the boards. Did the chimney guys not come in here yet? Turning. All right, the first instance of the primal knife. Oh, who's with the assist? guys here. Down, down. Yeah, there we go. Like, that part wasn't hard, but it was getting a little overwhelming. It's a good thing the big guy died when he did. He died like 10 seconds before the, the cutscene, the part ended. The last chapter of the village is pretty straightforward. Stealth kill the first enemy, then make your way out before they can sound the alarm. Keep going! And stopping for nobody. Watch out for the bear traps. Alright, we good. Uh, okay. Kill the Bella sisters and get the crank. Make sure they can't get behind you for an instant kill. Alright. This part might be something. Gonna have ourselves a good old fashioned knife off. Sorry, didn't realize that was yours. I am flattered. I'm a one lady type of guy. Okay. Like, I was like, that was not easy. Quick while she's down.
So fun little tidbit about this part. Uh, you don't actually need to call Ashley back from the locker. You just leave her in there until you're ready to go. Yeah, Leon, that's the spirit. He's getting it now. He's getting to the spirit of the knife-only playthrough. Like, the knife-only portion doesn't really make this any harder or easier. I mean, you could stop getting staggered on that, though. Figures I was looking behind me. This way. There we go. Be careful. Careful is my middle name. Leon! Phase one of the Menendez fight is pretty straightforward. Phase two is just a waiting game until he wants to switch from ranged to melee. Clean phase one. Guess your tap dancing days are over. Why don't you get over here? Not cool, dude. Them claws do. Okay. Stay there, though. Really? Let's keep moving. All right, village done. Not so bad so far. I had to repair my knife a million times, but that was expected. Alright, now that the village section is done, we can head to the castle. Now here's where the knife-only portion gets a little tricky. You have to shoot these counterweights to progress. So we are forced to shoot a gun for the first time, even if it isn't killing any enemies. Now we use the cannon to blow open the gate, but we aren't allowed to use it to kill any of the catapults or ganados. Okay, so here's the deal with this guy. You can kill him knife only, and there actually is an achievement to do it. The uh, the issue is it takes like, I don't know, 10 backstabs to actually kill him. Buddy. All right, forget everything I said. That's the way to do it. <laughs> You do have to shoot that puzzle, so no way around that. Again, we've, we've shot our gun four times this run. We've killed nobody with it. This room might actually be hard. This room's hard enough with guns. Come on, Ashley. Especially if they transform. Which we obviously don't want. Ow. 
Can you be a little less on fire? Go, 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 go. Upstairs, upstairs. Okay, so here's the deal. They're actually going to drag her out through the front door, so I can actually just do this. I mean... Actually, let's go. That's a lot of freaking guys. Alright, actually, let's go, let's go. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Just push your way through. Ashley. Ashley! <laughs> there we go. Alright. The first issue with the knife only portion is the water room. You need to be able to kill these cultists from grabbing Ashley while she does the wheels. So we are forced to use a gun. Okay? I'm only going to use the yeah, pistol to kill the ones out of reach. The ones on my level are getting stabbed. I'll cover you. Don't stop. Hey, this part, no choice. You have to shoot. You can't get up there and you have to stop them from grabbing her. So we're just going to use the pistol. Let's go. Okay, get back here. It's your own skin. Foolish little lamb. Even Ashley's into the knife only run at this point. Temperance, child. Gloria las plagas. Gloria las plagas. Great. Hey, you. Ow. What are you doing a melee only run to? Okay. Okay. This chapter is pretty straightforward, even for a knife-only run. That should do it. We are once again forced to shoot the counterweights, make our way through the gauntlet. Get ready. Not today. Shoot open our way out. He's lucky we're knife only. And of course, let the armor gigante live. He's out of knife range. Ow. And that's the thanks I get. Unbelievable. The manners in this castle. The maze portion of chapter 9 requires us to quick scope dogs. I actually one shot that dog. That's wild. And quickly pull the required levers. Once we're inside the main hall, as business as usual. Okay? Take Ashley yeah. to a five-star dinner. No thanks. Just take the long way in this room. I miss grenade and rocket skip already. Get up. Oh boy. Oh, and she's free. Actually, one shot me. Use it like a 
And lastly, have Ashley completely fail to help me in any way with these lanterns. Too bad. All right, this is going to require some actual accuracy from Ashley, so let's see what happens. Come on, you can't be serious. Light him up, girl. Wow. No, just, just stand there. Your teammate of the year. Now she wants to help. It yeah, thanks. Actually, no heads up. that one. Well, this is horrible. Hit them. I mean, I can, but okay, this gets unlocked. Hey, you okay? Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Nighty night. Nights. The Ashley section doesn't have any weapons. <laughs> So it's no different than a regular run. All right, Ashley section done. Chapter 10 features this neat little speedrunning trick where you can keep the Novista doors out of sight to decrease how aggressive they are. All right, we're doing the same trick we do in speedruns. Can't see me, can't hurt me. Your results may vary. All right, the goal of the next room is to not not get hit. It's to get hit only a couple times. I guess it said two to three, not two to three per lever. Okay, this room might suck, though. We are then forced to kill two of these bastards at the same time. This is easily the hardest part of the run. But two at once and one's armored. You can try to use the bell to get an attack in. I don't know, man. Oh, okay. And then they just surround me like that. Like, can I get out of this corner? Okay, 
Okay, stun locked again. Hi, guys. How are you still alive, this first one? Like, the armored one, whatever. Is that it? Are you down? Okay, one down. There we go. Yeesh. Finally, we get to the boss fight. Except we aren't going to fight him. While well, it would be funny to freeze him 40 times and keep hacking away at him like an ice sculpture, kiting him around the arena for five real minutes is far easier. The slowest fall down I've ever seen in my life. Oh, good. Actually, did not know she was in here. Out of the way. All right, well that worked out. The next chapter has two issues with the knife only run. The first is we have to shoot a single bullet at the double gigante fight to blow up the dynamite that Luis gets. Take care of the armored one, Luis. I got this guy. That one was easier than the one in, like, the village. Like, alright. Obviously can't knife only that one, but we can kill him without actually shooting him. Just the dynamite. Inside ancient deposits of Ember. All right, so the water room was the first room you have to you are required to shoot. This is the second one. Do you see any other way? Like obviously you can't get through here without shooting. Give us a push, Sancho. Who are you calling, call Sancho? Sancho. We finish off this chapter expertly dodging the bugs using the same speedrun strat that makes us very unlikely to be hit. Then fight Krauser for the first time, which went something like this. Are you being controlled by that cult? This is nothing to do with them. I'm a free man who made a choice. Good fight. <laughs> we can't do anything about the fire statue, so just run through the fire and the flames. Leon. I swear to God, man. The elevator section is just an auto scroller. Since we can't keep them from getting on the platform, just gotta deal with them as they arrive. 
Well, I can't really do anything to stop these guys, so... If they get on the left, we gotta stab them. Also, crossbow people are gonna be mad and annoying. Serpentine! Serpentine! I got some moves. You can't stop me. That crossbow doesn't still hit me. That's crazy. Well, I was trying to parry, but I was also getting red plague gust. life. Um, oh, oh, okay. The Salazar fight actually isn't too bad. You're looking for two specific attacks. The one-shot kill attack is actually super easy to dodge, as well as the vertical spray attack. These are your openings to get some stabs in. He also didn't get staggered the first time I fought him. Like once, like not even once. Belzar, good buddy. Uh, there. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on down. See, just like that. tries. After that, we steal a boat and head to the final section of the game. Alright, castle down, just the island left. The first island chapter is pretty easy. We do the turret skip, which is way harder if you can't interrupt JJ's weapon with a gun. Crossbow guy, don't be annoying. You, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There we go. <laughs> Those parries, though. Parries for days. Parry the platypus. Freaking Sekiro level parrying. I'll simply deflect the rocket with my knife. We run past all the guys in the kitchen section, including Denzel Washington. Then it's upgrading our keycard to level 3, so we can save Ashley for like the fourth time. Here we go. Alright, remember I said we're using the rifle? Just for that. Get it out of here. Stabbed his dynamite. Okay, guys.
certainly was something. Three chapters left and we're almost done. The first thing we have to do is escort Ashley through the factory. Easier said than done with just a knife, but we get through it. Okay, how, how all this like look at his body right now and tell me I, di I didn't hit the weak point. Or enough to even like blow off a leg. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I did, but he was just being annoying. Did I hit it? No. Wait, did I? Are you exploding? Alright. This is like the one part of the run I'm not sure if we could do knife only. Thanks. I don't know if we can stab enough people and two JJs while this wrecking ball is going on. This guy's trying to like climb up there. I know he was that close. Oh, hitting his weapon. Leon. Just anywhere on his body. Why did he die in like four hits? I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, sure. Totally fine. Oh my god, Ashley. I think one more. Hopefully. Come down here. I'm just shanking range. Wait, do you almost fall? What? You know, I think we could probably get him to shoot a rocket into this guy. It's probably a start. Bam. You can do a knife only. Let's go. All right, come on, Ashley. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think the latest update might have uh, messed up the mod a little bit. Just like, just like a hair. Oh, she's abandoned her body, all right. We got this. 
Just like in the first one, he is weak to knives. down here. There we go. Did you know, chat, if you parry his throwing knives, you can actually pick up a boot knife. This is it, soldier! Hey, wanna... There you go. Knife is no joke. All right, Mike, you're gonna have to do a lot of work here, buddy. Chapter 15 has one major difficult section, but Mike the pilot is here to help. What was that? That would be the cleanest Mike intro ever. We killed all of them. We do have to use the turret to blow up the anti aircraft gun. But we are not using it to kill any soldiers. There we go. Leon, jump down. Yo, rocket guy, you want to take a shot? The final part of this section is absolute hell knife only. One of the hardest parts in this run. Yeah. Just like the hardest part of the island. There's a rocket guy just like staring out. Oh, they're mad. I'm shaking the hornet's nest now. Gentlemen. Dude, get me out of this park. <laughs> My God. Bruh. After that, we do a flawless second turret skip. Come on, boys. Let's go. If I can get it that smooth in my speed runs, ugh. That was perfect. And carry Ashley through the most boring part of this game. Stay here. Final chapter, final boss. Let's get into it. All right, let's do it. Oh my god, I went forward too early. Good start, good start. Okay, where can I stand? Can't hit those. Alright, rough start. Can't hit your weak points, so I'm stabbing anywhere I can. Hey, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Mid climb animation. Oh, I got that one. Nice. What are you missing? Sir, please come back into stabbing range. Nice. See it. Honestly, not that bad. Finally, you looked at suits, you Sadler. A monster in it. Come here so I can stab you. Still, I need to cut this date short. It's not me. Exhilarating. Use this. I'll give you a holy body. Hey, Leon fully is embracing the knife only playthrough at this point. I knew we'd win him over. Bonk. All right. And there we have it. So, can you beat Resident Evil 4 Remake Knife Only? The answer is same as the original, mostly. You are required to kill enemies with guns in the water room and minecart section, and you need to have at least a pistol to shoot some of the puzzles. I hope you enjoyed this run, subscribe if you enjoyed, or check out my Twitch channel so you can catch these runs live. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.